Lawrence in 1978 or 79. And, uh, right? And then we, we played, we did his music, um, with, mixed in with all of our stuff over like a 10 year period at least, right? From the monkey bar to Mars, I guess. And back. And, um, and then we did a recording called 2 AM. We did a couple of tunes that we're doing tonight that we did on that recording. Um, this is not one of them. And, <laughs> but, um, so there's a real personal connection uh, to you know why we're here, uh, the, num I just, the number one reason is that it's a perfectly valid way for me to collaborate with Jed Disler, and he's one of the great um, musicians in my life, and so um, this is just a fantastic opportunity to get together on a regular basis. So this is actually an ongoing series. We've done three of them um, already at our place, Moscow 57. And we're gonna take, be taking it on the road, and uh, that's our story. And we'll be back. Actually, we'll be back there next week with it. Um, so that's the number one connection for why, why this group of people. And this is actually a, our M57 world, and all of these people play with us all the time. But they have lives of their own. Art Lillard has his own band, and Benjamin Franklin Brown has played with everybody from Dizzy to Lena. And, Jordan plays at Dizzy's, and, and Cleve is a, an amazing improvisational jazz vocalist in his own right. So it's a great group of people that were, and we're happy to be here. Um, and the other main, the, the, the reason I happen to love Tom Waits is um, that when I was very young, uh, 14 to be precise, I ran away from home. And um, after hitchhiking about 7,500 miles and returning, and then spending a few years slightly incarcerated, I came out uh, to go to boarding school in Connecticut, and it was a big shock. And I found that one of the only lyricists and, and composers that made any sense to me out of the crazy life that I had just had was Tom Waits. It was his music that seemed to kind of capture the, the world that I'd come from, the world that I'd just been in, and now the new world that I was in. So I was the, um, I'd sit around a lot in my dorm room, and drink Jack Daniels, of course, that was against the rules. I would also make bananas with the Jack Daniels. For some reason, I was cooking butter and bourbon and bananas a lot. I was about 160 pounds, but I was happy. And, um, and I would listen endlessly to Tom Waits. I was also listening to Jackson Brown, but you know, you could just hear him coming out. Then when I went to college, it was the same thing. That's where I, uh, Jen and I met. You could always hear him coming out through the through the bottom of the door. So this song is, um, you know, I was a wife, so I like to say that when I sing this song, it's more about a metaphorical state of mind. Wives can sing this song. I was a wife, I'm a feminist, and I'm singing this from a feminist perspective. Here we go. And it's not even singing.
long as I can be with me while we get along so well, I can't really believe it. And I love to chew the fat with folks and listen to all your dirty jokes. I am so grateful for all these friends I do receive. Thank you. 